I'm Leslie Howard. Hi, I'm Leslie Howard. Hello. Hi, I'm Leslie Howard. And if you're looking for a show that offers intellectual conversation in the utmost class and sophistication, well, I have news for you. <laughs> this ain't that kind of show. See, to be honest, I don't know what my show is going to be about. It's going to be different each time you watch it. But what I can say is that you'll like it. Oh yeah, this show is uncensored. <laughs> my show is also geared towards young adults. So every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock p.m. on the NYPS network, here's where you need to be. I like to keep it unpredictable. <laughs> It's a great day to be unpredictable, a great day to be unpredicted. Will you be mine? Could you be mine? Some old crazy shit will be said today, some old crazy shit will be said. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? I always wanted my own show, now I do. And I hope that I have the show that's great for you. With that said, let's talk about some crazy shit today. I don't really know what I want to say. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be a viewer? Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be a viewer? First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much for looking at um, the last live broadcast that we had. Um, and I also have to let you guys know that this one is going to be tuned down just a little bit because, number one, I'm at home visiting my mom for the weekend. Well, not for the weekend, but for a couple of days. She's very ill. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is if you're watching live, to pray for her, um, pray for her health. And if you guys are watching a replay, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and, you know, send a prayer up to my mom, make sure she feels better. Um, yeah, I'm a mama's boy. I like to make sure my mom is okay. Um, but you guys have been sending questions. That's good. I'm actually happy about that. Um, oh, yeah, and I'm back in my old house in my old bedroom, the bedroom that I spent most of my life in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you guys have been sending questions, and I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, this broadcast might be a little shorter, maybe a little more mild, but, um, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys sent some questions in. I'm going to answer some of the questions, but before I do that, um, I actually did say that this broadcast, I was going to do it in my underwear. Things I do for the people. Because I like y'all a lot. So, okay. So, Let's start with 
question number one. And question number one is actually question number one is actually a good question. Um, the question is, what is BDSM? Well, I don't know if you guys watched my last broadcast, but um, I let it be known that I was into BDSM, and BDSM is basically bondage and dominance. That's the BD. Then the DS, dominant and submissive. Then the SM, sadism and masochism. I know, yeah, that's the kind of person I am. I get straight to the point. I don't, I don't sugarcoat. I don't, well, I am the white tease, but um, I like to get to the point. Yeah. Um, so, like I was saying, um, bondage and dominance, that's basically being bound and tied up. Dominance is submissive, I'm a dominance. So if we're doing anything, I'm telling you what to do. And you do as I say, you don't talk back. If you talk back, you will get punished. That's the dominant and submissive in it. Um, then the sadism and masochism. Sadism and masochism is basically the pain. Well, inflicting pain for sexual pleasure, which I like to be on the receiving end of that. Um, but it's really, it's really a fascinating experience if you get to experience it. Everybody should at least experience it once. And I say that about anything. You should experience everything at least once. Um, but that was a good question. I thank you guys for that question. A personal, but you know, I said I was an open book. And I'm really appreciative of you guys saying that. Question number two. What do I think is the sexiest part of my body? Well, I hate to answer this question in such a way. I would say my tongue. But, um, I don't think that's it. Don't know. They were just sent to me. Um, yeah, they were just sent to me. I don't know. I can let you guys see it. Um, Hopefully they get, well they do get a little mild. I'm going to ease off of the uh, sexual questions in a minute. <laughs> I'm, glad you're here. I'm glad you're here for it. Um, because I'm never this revealing about things about myself like this. Um, but I guess, I guess the sex is part of my body is making my lips. Or my eyes. I don't know which one. You guys tell me what you think. Um, because I'm, I'm not a person who can answer such questions. You guys tell me what you guys think. Um, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Um, uh, oh, you like my tattoo? I like my tattoo. I don't like my chest, but I like my tattoo. I love my tattoo. I can't wait to get another one. Oh my gosh, you guys don't understand. My next tattoo is going to be epic, and I'm going to... I'm really gonna go out like with my next tattoo. I work hard, I grind till I only eight, twirl on my haters. Hey, okay. I need to be up there with you. I need to be doing what you're doing. I, man, if I get two tattoos in a month, I'll, I'll probably get a third one. I would get a third one and a fourth. Yeah, if you don't have a tattoo, don't get them because they're very addictive. You swear up and down you're just going to get one, but you end up getting 29 to 30, like my sister. I've never been to a tattoo party. I need to, I need to go to one. I never knew how that worked. Um, but let's go to a very, a more conservative question. Um, who are you voting for? Number one, but I don't think he's gonna make it to the 
Um, I don't think he's going to be the nomination for the Democratic Party. So, I think Hillary Clinton is going to end up being the nomination for the Democratic Party, and I'm pretty sure Donald Trump is going to... I'm sorry, I heard my spirit to say his name. But um, I'm pretty sure Donald Trump is going to end up being the... Um, really? Oh, God, I need to catch up. But I'm uh, pretty sure Donald Trump is going to be the Republican nominee. Just to keep Trump from winning, because he has no experience in the White House. So I don't think he deserves to even be in the Oval Office. Hillary got all the experience. So if it's, ooh, if Obama, ooh, if Obama get four more years, hashtag, ooh, I don't even have a hashtag, but if somebody make a hashtag, look, and I'll put it on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and I will make sure that you get credited for it. Um, because, yeah, hashtag four more years. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm legendary Obama. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Who is this Obama landing in the White House? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna make sure I got y'all. I got y'all. Like we here, we here. I got y'all. Hashtagging it. So yeah, honestly, I don't think what. Okay. Don't do as I do, but I might not vote. <laughs> Glad you know. Okay, let's see. The next question is: Do people compliment you on your lips? Yes, they do. <laughs> next question: um, People tell whenever somebody compliments me on my lips, I naturally bring them in. I don't. I'm telling you guys, I don't know who asked these questions. All I know is they're here. There was six, and I'm answering. We're left brain. Some of us are right brain. Um, I just, I'm just more attracted to the guys who use the creative, who use the creative side of the brain. Um, let's see what else. What else to date a guy? For a guy to get a date with me? Oh, you have to be, you have to be very respectful. You have to be very respectful. Being from the south, you learn that being respectful opens a lot, a lot of doors for you. So if you can respect me, don't come at me with any, yo, what's up, pal? let me holler at you for a minute. Like, no, don't do that. Uh, first of all, you can come up to me and ask me for my name. I'm not, even though I have this look, like, I don't want to talk to you. Even though I have that look, that's just how I look, people. I'm not an evil person. I'm not a mean person. Um, just come up to me and ask me for my name. You know, say what you want to say, what your intentions are. Don't play games with me. I hate games. Um, yeah, basically this. I could say more, but that's basically the gist of it. If you have confidence about yourself, if you are very knowledgeable and very respectful and artistic. all I really require. Um, I'm not a real big person on looks. Looks get you in the door. Um, you can look like a 10 and have a personality of a 5 and I will rate you a 5. I'll probably rate you a 4 just because you're a 5. Um, because 5 is a very significant number to me. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Thank you for that. I really enjoy that y'all listen to me questions. Um, let's see. On to the next question. What fraternity am I in? What are the colors? Hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed. Well, of course, y'all see the dog tag, but, um, well, hmm. I'm going to come back to that. I don't know if I can answer that question yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that. Um, when did I lose my virginity? Oh, y'all really, y'all really want to know when I lost my virginity? Okay. Hatred. <laughs> Sicily, 19, I'm just kidding. Um, when did I lose my virginity? Okay, so this is the story about my virginity, me losing my virginity. Um, I lost my virginity March 12th, 20, no, 2008. Yeah, I lost my virginity in 2008. Um, what happened is, me and this guy that I was dating, he was my first boyfriend. 
very much in love with him. Um, we ended up skipping school. Actually, we skipped the last hour of our class, and his house was only down the street, so we ended up going to his house. Um, he ended up laying me on the bed. Well, actually, no, let me backtrack. We talked about some things. We talked about our relationship and how he wanted to take how he wanted to take it to the next level. I had no issue with that. I was really excited, but you know, him being a guy, not only really know how you know a heterosexual sexual um, activities work. I didn't know how it was going to work between me and him. So what he did was he pulled me to his room, and I'm probably going to start blushing when I talk about this. But um, what he did was started kissing on each other in his, actually in his grandparents' room, his grandmother's room, I'm sorry. Um, we actually started kissing each other in his grandmother's room. I know I'm terrible. I'm so, I bet y'all, back then, I was so, like, didn't give a fuck. I just did shit just to do it. But, um, <laughs> we started kissing on each other and he told me to lay back. And I asked him why, because I was nervous. Even though I was excited, I was nervous. So, he asked me to lay back. And I said, okay. So I laid back. He started kissing me on my neck. He pushed me up on the bed. He like scooted me up on the bed. He started unbuttoning me. He started to unbutton my pants and I took his shirt off. Um, I started kissing him on his neck. And while his shirt was off, I started kissing on his, I started like, I was all right here. I was all right there.
to say Sergio Giovanni. And Sergio Giovanni is my actual diamond name. I'm part of a gay family. And thank you. Uh, I'm part of a gay family. And we're, we're like a normal family. You know, um, we have family reunions, we have Christmas dinners and stuff like that. Like, we're a real family. Like, I love each and every one of my siblings. Um, as a matter of fact, each diamond that's on my chest represents a sibling. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, actually, this tattoo was not high at all. It was a pretty cheap tattoo, um, but I'm glad that I had it. Um, and under it, it says, you know, this Greek letters. Um, that's for me and my diamond family to know. Um, I wish I could share these with you guys. I can't, but um, yeah, so that's tattoo number one. Tattoo number two actually starts right here. It goes all the way down my arm. And what it is, is it's broken Arabic. Um, and the tattoo is a quote, one of my favorite quotes. And the quote is, um, in this dancer is a mystic language that reveals the memoirs of my soul that can never be deciphered. That's one of my, and it's in Arabic because my father is Arab. So, um, like I said before, my last update, he, um, Um, he is Arab, so I got this um, in honor of him. Um, and I'm just one of my bad days. Okay, so this one is a wolf. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. Um, the wolf has Indian feathers, which is significant of my grandmother on my mom's side. She's uh, half black and half Indian. And the wolf is my favorite land animal. I have three favorite animals. The wolf is my favorite land animal. And I don't know if you can see the color on the bees, but the bees represent a rainbow, which is, of course, me being gay. Then I'm going to have to go below the waist to show you my next test. You guys, please don't make a big deal about this. I normally don't do things like this, but okay, I'm going to show you. So, right here is my not recent tattoo, but I've had this tattoo. This is my second tattoo I've actually got. But it says pleasure and pain. It has a little bit. And that's my line name in a college organization that me and my friends made up. Um, so yeah, all of us have significant names. But this tattoo, this is the only tattoo that I really need to like get stuff added onto it because I had about whole, I was having a bipolar episode and I got that tattoo. See, this is why if you're bipolar, please take your medication. I don't, but I encourage everybody else to do the same thing. So. Yeah, those are all my tattoos. I plan on getting more, um, but I have to have the money to get them. So, well, I have money. I just don't have money to spend like that because I have responsibility. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that on that. And my next tattoo is actually gonna. My next tattoo is actually gonna be down the middle of my back, either the middle of my back or right here. One of the What's up, y'all? I'm back, still walking the streets of Chicago. Um, mm, never mind, I'm gonna keep that comment to myself. Uh, might offend a lot of people, but <laughs> I wanna talk to y'all. I like doing this top five thing, so I think I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do a top five reason. Top five. Ooh, it's a lot of reasons I should be a good. I should be a good boyfriend. Okay, I'm gonna do a top five reasons on why I make a good boyfriend. Reason number five why I think I would make a good boyfriend? Because I know how to cook. I'm not talking about regular cooking. I'm talking about my cooking touches your soul. My cooking touches you in places that regular sex just can't do. I'm talking about it's Sunday morning, grandma died Saturday, and we having a feast in her name. I'm that kind of cook. I'm, I'm a soul food cooker. I'm talking about fried chicken, one, two, three, four cheese, macaroni and cheese, fried okra, hot water, cornbread. Southern cooking is my favorite type of cooking, but I can cook other things too. I really believe that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. It is for mine. So especially for the Chicago guys, I think I have the upper hand because I know how to cook. I'm not saying all Chicago guys know how to cook, but my cooking is a little different. 
Reason number four why I think I would make a good boyfriend is because I'm a real romantic kind of guy. I'm the type of guy who will play wrestle with you and then I hold you from the back and you tell me to let you go and then I whisper in your ear and say, I'll never let you go. You know, like corny shit like that. <laughs> I'm the type of dude that likes falling asleep on the phone with you or falling asleep on FaceTime with you doing scavenger hunts you know like the whole nine yards anyone i'm very romantic but you have to bring that out of me that's the problem reason number tres number number tres yeah reason number reason number three that i make a good boyfriend uh shoot what was my reason oh yeah i'm a guy that can do both now when i say that i mean this i'm the type of guy that you can take to, you know, your business meetings, your luncheons, and, you know, classy events. I could break out the college dictionary. I could break out, um, I can speak proper English and learn not to talk so fast and country like I normally do. I'm that type of guy. But then, I can flip it on you. Then I could be this ride or die dude. I could be this nigga that you know the type of nigga that you need in your life whenever you know some like real fucked up shit go wrong I could throw on I ain't a hood nigga but I can be a hood nigga so I could be very debonair and very classy or I could be that nigga that you need you know but it's real corny that I'm doing it right now because it's not natural so I'm a guy that can do both reason number two that I think I would make a good boyfriend is because I'm a dancer. Now, if I have to explain why that makes me a good boyfriend, you should just like stop the video and I guess think about your life right now. And reason number one why I think I would make a good boyfriend is because I know how to be your best friend and your boyfriend at the same time. Now, when I say that, I mean this. It's some things that you can say, do, you know, et cetera, with your best friend that you can't do with your boyfriend and vice versa. With me, you get you get a two for one special, basically. I could be a best friend and I could be a boyfriend. Um, it's really not hard. Niggas just make it hard. But I can be both for you. So these are the five things you should take into consideration, especially the cooking, because I cannot stress enough my cooking skills are not better than my sex but my sex is good then my cooking skills are good then everything else is just you know a skill but yeah these are the things that you should take into consideration i can't believe i said that my sex was good why the fuck would i say that you know what don't even pay attention to that because some of you well hmm only one person right now in this whole entire world has the opportunity to experience that. Forgot that I was talking to the camera for a second. But yeah, these are the things that you should take into consideration when choosing me as your boyfriend. Thank you.